Hey, girly. Hey, crazy girl. Look at the crazy girl. Look at her face, yo. It's so funny. This is the doggy massage. Look at her. <laughs> her face is just stuck. Bruh. She's so funny. You're so cute, bubba. What you gonna do? You're so cute. Don't like me recorded. Hey, I'm super thugged out right now, but don't mind me. It's really early in the morning. It's 8 o'clock on a Saturday, and I have deep conditioner in my hair from last night. So, yes, that is the natural girl's hustle. Getting ready to... Where's my phone? Getting ready to make some waffles, protein style, without the, uh, without the protein powder. Yeah, mine over munch posted this, so I'm just going to make it. So this is meal number one. I got my oat waffles or my, my protein waffles made without protein powder as you saw me make in the previous clip. I got my chia seed blueberry pudding, blueberry and coconut chia seed pudding, the last little bit of it that I made the other day. And I got my Inner Health um, freshly ground coffee with cordyceps mushrooms, really good for your immune system, your health, your stamina, all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for this and you can't even see me but yeah, everybody's fed. Now it's time for me to eat and for me to get my day started. Okay, everybody, as you can see, my hair is wet, deep conditioner set. It feels pretty darn good. And I'm going to have to hurry up and get ready to go to the max muscles. So my lovely setup, got my little chair, got my got my YouTube videos playing over here. Well, not my YouTube videos. That looks like somebody's child right now. <laughs> All this damn hair, you wonder why I never straighten it. This is why. Like, look. So my hair sponsor, My Natural Hair Extensions, sent me my clips. So I got my clips for my show. I got me some 16 and 18 inch clips, yaki, coarse yaki. So I just want to see how they blend with my hair, especially because I have this color in. But I don't know. I'm just extra hyped to um, have some, some her. I'm excited. You'll see in a minute. I think um, My Natural Hair Extensions was right in saying that I should get the, the coarse yaki instead of the permed yaki. I thought I needed perm. I thought it was going to be like silky or something, but this hair actually feels really good. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> but this is a 16 inch. I wonder if my hair is six. Maybe I should measure my hair real quick. Yeah, how about we do that? It's almost, I guess, bra strap length. Almost. Almost. I don't know. I'm not really too concerned, I guess, but I'd like to know. I probably should just look up, look it up on YouTube. Like, how do you measure your hair? Like, how do you do this? How do you do this, girl? Like, all y'all that are like really into hair, how do you, how do you measure your hair? Uh, it's pretty poofy. That's why I wanted a different flat iron. But this piece is like 12 inches. I don't know, guys. I really don't. This feels really good in my hair. Now, I'm definitely, when I actually go on the stage, someone might actually help me install this because I'm pretty sure that when I take this out, it's gonna be kinda hard because I didn't really part everything properly and I don't care because I don't have time for that. I really like how it looks. I didn't even put all of them in. They sent me two whole bundles. I still have like, I still have like all this hair, you know, that, I don't, that I'm, like I have nowhere to put on my head. I have a big head, but I mean, yeah, I don't have a lot of space, but I love it. I'm going to put my big earrings on, put a little bit of eyeliner on, and you know. I really like
like it but I just gotta make sure that my clips don't be showing because that is not cute so I might readjust some I don't I mean I feel them like I don't see them but I just feel them and that makes me paranoid this is why I don't like I don't really do weave I don't do clip like I don't have time for that if you saw me would you you probably would think like part of it's mine you know or most of it's mine it's not super, you know, whatever. I don't know, I'll probably, I'm going to curl it for the show and everything, but for every day, I'm just going to leave it like this, because, ciao. That's sexy. So, I put my hair back a little bit because I want to go walk Angel, but it's still so cute. And do you guys think that this is mine? Like, if you saw me, would you think it's, like, my hair? Like, you know, can you, can you tell? I mean, you probably can't see that well because I'm wearing all black. But... Yeah, I'm about to go work the booth for my sponsor, Sean's Kitsur Cuties and Brick Built Booty. Those are her brands. Second meal is some, no, you can't have any. It's some triple zero Greek o wheat ghosts, whatever. How bad I had it last year, last week for my, um, for my, uh, carb day two. So yeah, 15 carbs, six fiber, seven sugar, 15 protein, and no fat. Great for a carb day. Mm. I always give her that when I'm done. She tears them up. So I better do this last part of the little vlog before I get in the car because I probably won't vlog again until, oh, those are old by the way, but I probably won't vlog again until I actually get to my destination because I got my dad subscribed to me now and he's sitting over here texting me about how I shouldn't have been, you know, vlogging and driving in the last vlog that I posted that you guys are probably watching right now because I just posted it on today, Saturday morning. But yeah. Yeah, he's watching. He keeps texting me, talking about, like, I shouldn't have been driving. But I was watching the road, like, most of the time. But you can't tell parents that. So, sorry, Daddy. I ain't going to vlog no more when I'm in the car. Starbucks. Is she going to acknowledge me or not? So I'm here. I feel like I got here pretty quickly. It wasn't that bad of a drive, or it didn't seem like it. Maybe because I don't know, I wasn't really speeding or anything, but it just didn't seem like it was that bad of a drive. So that's pretty good. I had the GT's kombucha, so I'm a little bit hype. I don't know, like, I mean, you don't always need caffeine to like pep you up. Cause I was feeling a little bit tired before, but now that I got this and I got some food in me, some good clean energy from vegetables. Ooh, go figure, vegetables. This is my favorite one too. My favorite uh, flavor. This is the brand that I normally get when I get the kombucha. The one last week that I had in the vlog that I that I probably watch right now. I hope you better be watching right now. Oh, so the one in that one is um, higher in sugar, so I don't normally get it. So I still try to keep my sugar low even on carb days. Last carb day, that was, that was a bit of a cheat. Now that was my first carb day in like a long time. So my bad, but I learned because I was definitely bloated for like. I don't know, like through two, three days afterward, and I just do not like. I do not like to be bloated, and I was disappointed in myself, and I was like, you know, this is not worth it. Don't, don't do that again. Like we didn't need all that food. We didn't need the brownies and them donuts, but they were good. Me and my kale crunch. I got my little mini ISO bag here. It's so useful. I swear my sponsor does everything. She's so cool. She's so talented. She does like everything. I'm over here combing my weave and I heard her singing so I had to come and um, <laughs> record it a little bit. Eat my chia seed pudding now. Hi. Hello. Colored funny because of the banana, but it still tastes really good. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Is it video or is it? It's video, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm I, in the I know process. You I know. <laughs> I'm in the process. That's Sean. I'm looking at what to sing. What's up? Sing, and then this is all hers. We're still setting up. So, I just got all this stuff from Quest because they're always awesome. I got me some chips, and I got all the proteins I can try, which I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to try it for a while. And yeah, so that's exciting. And I got the highly coveted 
mint chocolate chip quest bar the new one so that's exciting so yeah i'm probably gonna eat that and i'm gonna get my boyfriend the chips when i get home Whew, so i went to the bathroom this is the bathroom that nobody knows about so no one's in here but i just wanted to show you guys my brick built booty shirt i tied it in the back but it's so cute and it's really really soft and comfortable like she's giving away these for free with um like a purchase from regular price item right now. It's so cute. Let's go, Mallory! Dang, the hamstrings, though. Let's go, Mallory! To your right. Hold it tight, Mal. Let's go, Mallory! Face front. I got you. 13 and 12, change positions. Hey, let's go, 2-8. Hey, hold it, 2-8. Let's go, Mallory. Looking good, Mallory. Turn to the right. Overall winner of the Open Figure Division of the 2015 NBC Max Muscle, number 13, Katrina Roundtree. Yeah, I got you, boys. I want a crown. One day I want a crown. Today has been such a terrible day of eating because I've literally barely ate all day. I'm so hungry. My MyFitnessPal says I have like 21 fat, like 100 carb, and like 50 protein. Like I've been so bad. So bad. I'm so hungry. What an amazing class in fifth place. Angel, why are you in the kitchen? Angel, get out. Huh? What you doing? Recording. You thought it was here? Um, yeah, because I couldn't buy anything because Quest, shout out to you guys for not having a credit card machine. Come on, y'all. It's 2015. And got me food. All I want is some hot food. Y'all see, I didn't have any hot food today, really, besides my first meal, and that's it. And then I had a bunch of snacks that I had. I had two things of Quest. I had the new mint chocolate chip, and on the way home, I gave in and I ate some of these because it was like a 40 it's like a 50 minute drive, so these are so good. I'm so excited. This is just chicken and broccoli. I told him to give me chicken and broccoli with no sauce. So I got a whole lot of chicken up in here. You just can't see it right now. And then this much rice, but I don't know if I'm gonna eat it all, but um, I mean, it's carb day and I didn't really have any carbs. So, hey, I'm gonna have a good workout tomorrow. It's not soy sauce, you know, it's my favorite. My liquid aminos, but see, I'm about to run out, so. Angel just sitting here looking at me like, are you really not gonna feed me? You don't always get food when you want it. No, no. I need to go to LA just to eat these donuts. She only wants to do that because I have food I just ate. It's not because she wants to give me a kiss and we don't kiss like this. Right, Angel? We don't do that, girl. See? Sometimes it's the oldest thing that's the best. Mm -hmm. 
This donut is filled four times. The what? chocolate pudding is made with milk. Then she takes the whole donut and dips it in a chocolate glaze, and then sprinkles on this crispy chocolate cereal. What? And then drizzles a little white chocolate over the whole thing. What? Make it an even prettier picture. Ridiculous, it's so good. Look at her. No joke. She's so cute, my baby. I don't know why she's, I don't know, but I don't know what she, I don't know. She's OCD or not? Like, what is this? Sure, it stops, so nice. She uses the pink Sit down. Sit down. Look at her. Main pin life. Dead life. Had me sit down and shut up for a minute. Was Whisk it all together, and you've got this perfect bourbon maple glaze. This looks really good. She takes that whole donut and dips it both sides because she knows that people can't get enough of it. <laughs> Once the glaze sets, Tiffany slices it open so it can be the sandwich part. Now we're ready to assemble the sandwich. Then she takes this amazing house-made sausage made from pork, ginger, sage, and some other spices. On top of the sausage goes some shredded cheddar cheese, and then it's topped with the little maple bourbon. You look so perfect. I'm so glad that this donut place is so close to me because I know it's like, I can go whenever. I thought I had to go to LA to get good donuts, but yeah, GBDs, I gotta go. I'm so tired. That food was good. I'm so thankful to Darren. Oh, it's my macros for the day. Um, I, I went a little high on fat, so I'm at 53 fat, 207 protein about. I mean, 207 uh, carbs and um, 111 protein. Today, you see, I didn't do too bad. I just was snacking on some vegetables like the Brussels sprouts and the um, kale chips and everything. They were really good. But uh, I just didn't eat enough. Um, well, I ate enough at the end of the day, but it's like 12 o'clock at night. It's midnight, so should I eat before. But um, I didn't work out today on purpose. I wasn't even ever planning to work out because I, I literally worked out every day of the week this week. And so sometimes you need to rest. You can't always just keep going and going and going and going and going and giving your body no time to rest and recover. So I made sure I stayed in bed longer this morning and got some more rest and um, just didn't even do cardio today. So I feel really good. Oh yeah, also, so I tend to do these day in the lifes. I tend to do them on the days that I'm not, like my carb days on like the week, the weekends, right? So that was sexy. I'm gonna show you guys a day in the life during my work week because I told you I was still have a nine to five job. So, you know, it's different in the work week. It's, it's a little bit more hectic. So I wanna show you guys some of that, especially for anyone out there who's thinking of competing um, and you wanna, you. And you know you might be confused as to what it's about. I want to just show you guys more of that and let you guys know the real deal, how it really is, fitting competition prep into your life. The majority of people who compete like have busy lives, have kids, have full-time jobs, are like bosses at their jobs. You know, like it's not just for the people who have all this time in the world to lollygag in the gym. No, I feel like <laughs> competing gets that rep sometimes, but maybe some people is still for, it's, maybe for some people it's like that. But for me and most people that I know, it's not. So yes, I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was my Saturday. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. I aim to help you all see that you can live a healthy lifestyle, maintain balance in your life, with your social life, your personal life, and you know, trying to live healthy in today's unhealthy society. So you can tell I'm tired, right? I'm, I just keep on rambling. But yeah, I'll check you guys in the next video. Got a lot more stuff coming for you all, so. Thank you all for your support. And I'm rambling again. All right, I'm going to stop the vlog.